Okay, this is Bazooka gonna show you a quick tutorial how to uh, make and skin your own vehicles, weapons, and things that are inside the map, such as glass or blocks that move. Now, the first thing you're gonna need, you're, you're gonna need four things. You're gonna need your maps, which include shared, shared single player, main menu, and then of course your map you're gonna mod. I'm going to be using Lockout. Okay, you're also going to need Halo 2 BI, which is a internal map, whatever. It, it makes all the, you know, stuff actually work. You're also going to need Dot Halo, of course, and Adobe Photoshop. These two are essential. Okay, open up Dot Halo. Okay, now you're going to open your map. Okay. First, you're going to start by going to bitmap under tags, and you're going to find the thing you want to mod. You know, skin. I'm going to start out by doing a warthog. Now, if you're going to actually do the skinning of the actual warthog, you're going to want to find warthog standard. Okay. Right around here. Okay, as you can see, hit extract bitmap save it to whatever file you want save it okay done now go to adobe photoshop okay file and open your uh... you must have the dds plugins for this by the way you can download them almost any site okay now uh, open up your warthog standard okay there it is now I'm going to go ahead and custom make it. Okay, this is my finished product. Okay, um, you can kind of just see what everything's here. Now you're going to file and save. Now go back and find out which one it is. This is 2 and 3. So file, save, and then save it and done. After it's done, inject it to the... Uh, bitmap and as you can see after it's done you're gonna need to save it as two or three DXT now now you're gonna go to whatever you want to skin next I'm gonna do the tires too I'm gonna put rims and uh, custom treads now since this is Adobe Photoshop I'm gonna open up the Internet Explorer instead of making my own I'm gonna copy and hit copy the picture then hit paste. Now you're gonna use the magic wand tool to get rid of every access access thing around the rim. That's what I'm gonna be doing. Okay, go ahead and get the tire treads. Okay, Control Alt T to uh, custom do that. Okay, stretch, stretch. Okay, now this is my finished product. You're gonna hit file and save as two and three. DDS. Make sure you save it as a dot DDS file, by the way. Now inject it. Sorry, my computer is just a little bit fast, or my mouse is, because you can see it's done now the tread and the rims okay now what you want to do is go find what else you want to mod next I think I'm gonna do a weapon battle rifle okay okay open battle rifle now I'm going to go ahead and do my own skinning this is my final product now you're gonna file and save as four and five because this weapon is a four and five. Okay, as you can see, it's all there. Now we're gonna skin something in the map. I will be doing the glass. That's you know just the glass in general, extracted. Okay. Okay. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and open it. Put a 
let me open it. Maybe I should try again. There we go. Okay, and uh, here's my final product. Go ahead and file and save it. Inject it. Okay, when it's done, it'll show up. Now you're gonna go ahead and uh, go to tags and hit save changes. All right, give me a second here. My laser mouse is a little messed up. It'll fix itself. Give it a second. Okay, there we go. Now go to tags, save changes. Okay, now you can close that out. Now this is where you're gonna want to open your bitmap, Halo to BI. Close that everything. Okay, open up your Halo 2 BI. I can give you this product if you'd like. Just contact me through YouTube. I'll give you my AIM or MSN. Or if you'd like, I could just email it to you. Okay, here we go. Open it. Sorry about that. Now you're going to open your map through here. Okay. Now, the thing, you only need to really internalize the user default controls such as warthogs and weapons. Usually never scenery. But just in case, you might want to do it. Now, when you're internalizing, you're also going to have to, inter or whatever it is, you're also going to have to do it to the bump of the weapon or vehicle. It'll say like warthog slash tires, and I'll say warthog slash tires slash bump. Just hit open when it comes to shared as long as you have it. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this to the tires. I'm gonna go to warthog standard. I think I did that the other way around, I'm sorry. Okay, now do it to your weapon. Okay. That's uh, done. Fix encryption. Close. Close. Now let's see how it worked. There's the glass. Right there. Okay. The warthog. Yes, it worked. Looks all cool and stuff. Okay, let's see how the battle rifle worked. Look. It's all nice and red. And white. Christmassy. Well, that's about it. I mean, there's not much you really need else to know. If you have any questions about this tutorial, please feel free to contact me. But, um, the Warthog, it, I like it. It turned out okay. See, now the glass there did it too. It's all cool and stuff. As you can see, the tire treads did work. So that concludes the tutorial. Contact me if you need any questions.